though you can't go on a, even though you can't shoot the pheasants, it's, it's, it's good footwork. You yeah, know, yeah. just to dress them. Don't you have to shoot them, but just look at one and try and get your feet into position. It, it can be great practice shot. It can be great practice just to start working those feet as you see those pheasants coming out ready for ready for next month. So just address them a little differently. Don't have to shoot it, but we can certainly work on it. Where that sun's based, you're either gonna have to give up on that and go left or right, but it's gonna involve a lot of footwork. You're gonna be lots and lots of footwork. Oh, shot cast, look at that. <laughs> when you're moving left to right, just drag your eyes like an ice cream scoop, go under the sun, come out the other side, so you're not staying flat and blind yourself. Just go scoop, scoop. No, I, 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 that one really slow. Yeah, because they're going against the wind, again, we're gonna go a little bit visual. Yeah. So we're gonna actually see the lead develop instead of just punching out to it. They can see the winds at our back. Yeah. So it's gonna be a very, very slow move, but that doesn't mean there'll be lead involved. You can see they're probably not strong enough to make it all the way across the valley. So beware of that drop as well. Because of that sun positioning, on them right to left, you're either going early or you're going late. Yeah. Don't, don't try and go through that sun, one in, one out. And if you first barrel it, scoop and come out the other side. That's a nice one, have a dig at that. Shot, mate, beautiful. No. That's a beautiful move. That front one's on, front one's on. Well left, good. Like I always said, you can put the gun down, but you can't put it up. 